Hello and welcome to this video, where we'll be taking a look at a pretty sad looking Sony Trinitron TV, and a pretty big one at that, as I believe this is around 29 inches. So just to explain, the other day a friend of mine came across this big old unit sitting outside on the street, and as he knows I have a bit of a soft spot for the old Sonys, he tossed it in his van and brought it over for me to play around with. Now this thing looks like it's come straight out of a bin, it's pretty grotty and there's white paint patches all over it. There's a lot of stains, marks and glues or something covering it as well. Underneath the grime, what we've actually got here is a KV J29 SZ9, which is nearly identical to a TV I did a video on a while ago, which I SCART modded and now use as my regular gaming TV. So what's the goal with this big old lump then? Well, I know underneath the dirt is a pretty decent TV hiding away that's pretty straightforward to plumb some RGB video into. I hate the idea of something like this being retired when it could live on and provide many more hours of retro gaming fun, so I guess the next step is to see if it actually works. So it turns on just fine and actually displays a picture. I've got an old Nintendo Famicom hooked up to it at the moment and everything is working really well. In fact the picture isn't half bad at all. The only real issue is at the top left and right corners there's some off colours which make me worry that it might have had some rough handling or been dropped at some point. It might be something that I can manually dig out later though. I want to start with cleaning this thing up as it's pretty hideous and it just seems to be shedding dirt all over the floor. So let's get to tidying it up. It might be difficult to see, but there's a lot of white spray paint and a sort of white powder layer all over this TV, even over the front facing, and I think it's going to take more than some soap and warm water to actually get it off. You can see here most of what looks like dust is actually kind of caked on and it doesn't come off particularly easily. going to give it a good going over with some hot water and soap and then I'll start attacking that white spray paint. There's a lot of old glue and adhesive to get through as well so let's get stuck in. So it's very slowly coming together and starting to look a little more respectable, but still quite a way to go. There's a lot of really stubborn marks and patches which feel like a glue of some sort. I really want to make a start on getting rid of this ugly white paint splatter. And what I'm using here is a little bit of circuit board cleaner and paper towel to try and help free it up. It doesn't do a bad job of removing some paints and can tackle some adhesives quite well. You can already see the side I'm working on is starting to clear up pretty well and with a bit of work it doesn't look too bad at all. Now I don't think showing off every speck of paint removed is all that fun, so here's a quick look at this part after a bit of work. I want to take this thing apart anyway and take a look inside so I can give the rear section a proper hose down outside later. Right, I've taken the back off and I obviously expected a bit of dust to be inside here, but this one really takes the cake. It's just so full and completely covered that I'm surprised it worked as well as it did. I'm obviously going to clean all this out, but not before putting on a mask, because who knows what is hiding in here. The good thing is though, is that despite the layer of filth, I can tell this board layout is pretty much identical to one of my other TVs. In fact, this might be one of the easiest TVs to RGB mod I've come across, so I'm going to give a few areas a quick cleanup and do a quick wiring. O2 
Okay, so I've given the set a very quick cleanup, just so I can at least see what I'm doing, and I've wired in a very makeshift, temporary RGB mod that I'm testing with my trusty master system. As I'm using my phone camera here, I'm not expecting the CRT capture to look amazing, I more just want to show it's actually working properly. I decided to use this TV as a bit of a guinea pig for a little RGB modifier board I was working on. So as you can see here, I can manually turn off the individual RGB signals. I can shut off the 5 volt blanking too, which will then set the TV into composite mode. It's actually pretty useless, but fun for messing around with on these old TVs. I did give the TV a few blasts with a degaussing coil and it definitely helped out. The left side of the set is now perfect, but there's still a small bit of interference at the top right. I have noticed though it's becoming less and less prominent the more I use the TV, and I'm pretty confident that it will fade away with time. In the meantime, I've just continued tidying the setup to get it looking as good as possible, and I'll be putting it back together soon. I am left with the question of what do I want to do with this thing though. I've already got two other pretty large Trinitrons tucked away, and I think it's safe to say I don't need any more CRTs cluttering up the place. A part of me would like to convert it into some kind of arcade monitor style thing, but I'd feel bad scrapping the rest of it. My main goal with this TV when it was given to me was to hopefully give it another chance in life and to try and prevent it being scrapped. I'm sure even if it doesn't stay in my home, there'll be a home out there for it and some enjoyment to be had. So with that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.